I just wanted to make a short video um, for anybody that has a uh, Anycubic Photon Mono M5S and has problems with the auto level not working. Uh, something I didn't know, and I'm hoping this helps people. I'd have to do a ton of research and run around in rabbit holes and stuff. Is that there are two different kinds of plates. They have an old plate and they have an updated version of the plate. <clears throat> you can tell by looking at the side. The other one does not have this flat square. It's got another channel. It looks sort of like that. This one right here is version 2. If you have this flat thing right here. And you can press in on it. And you can feel that it's loose. This is just tape. If you take and uh, pull the tape off, anyway, you flip it around so you can see the other side. Behind the tape are some leveling screws. So the version 2 plate is actually the M5S Pro plate that's adjustable. You pull the tape off, you go, you hit the home button, let it go down with these loose, push your plate down. And tighten it up just like you would any other common 3D printer. I have to say though that mine are bottomed out. And my paper still isn't super tight. It's just tight enough. That if I use a 50 second bottom exposure time. I, I'm my prints I haven't had any problems since. Before I couldn't get anything to stick but on one side. And uh, that barely stuck. But check your uh, build plate before you go running down a bunch of alleys that you're not really going to find any information. Uh, also, for the people that have the version 1, contact any cubic support and let them know of your problem. And uh, most of the time, they'll send you out a free version 2 plate. And I'm hoping that helps somebody. Later.